Welcome to the past. How amazing is this? We are actually in one of the most unique forms of public transportation in the entire world. So, much like the subway system in New York, where there's a network of trains to take you throughout the city, the PAS has a network of cable cars. But instead of being in a tunnel, you're actually above ground, soaring between these high rises, going over markets, parks, residential buildings, and you have miles and miles of beautiful views. Bolivia is one of our bucket list destinations. Not only because of the unique cable system, but because of the rich culture, the delicious food, the beautiful sceneries, and so much more. Today, we're going to be zip riding through the pods and exploring the city, so make sure you sit tight and join us. Yeah, now that we're here at the Central, we're just going to walk around and explore, hopefully grab a bite to eat and uh, check it out, right? Yes, but before we do all of that, we are going to check out the Witch's Market. Stick around for this one. One of the things you're going to notice here in Bolivia is that you're always walking up or down a hill. There's never any flat ground. Not that we've found anyway. Man, it's such a long buster getting up these hills. It's crazy. Okay back there? Yeah, I'm <laughs> All right guys, we made it to the witch's market and you'll know that you're here when the street suddenly becomes extremely, extremely colorful. Yeah, there are many stalls with different color alpaca shirts, souvenirs, trinkets, but what's most interesting is that most business owners are actually women and they do live in the area. But I wanna go check out the market where they have all these potions, fortune tellers, because I'm gonna put a spell on you. <laughs> I think she did already. What I'm looking forward to is seeing the ladies who are dressed in those layered skirts and the bolo hats. We passed a couple already that were actually hanging their merchandise up high. They look so cute. They don't were they? absolutely adorable, guys. What do you think? So we dress like? <laughs> nah. What do you think, Kenny in a skirt? Nah. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the store. All right, Gladys made her first purchase. Isn't it so cute? 
and it has pink and it matches with my outfits and it's going to keep the sun off my face that's what's important <laughs> i like it i think i look cute in it what do you think i think you look all right what <laughs> stupid <laughs> found the witchcraft store and I have to say it is quite unique and they have so many things from potions to souvenirs to dry feeders now I want to stress that they do not abort these pregnancies if the llama happens to have a miscarriage then they dry the fetus they hang it they sell it for people who want to ask for positive offerings whether that's a house, a car, money, or health. So no, we're not buying any dry feeders today, but I did want to show you this because it is quite unique. They also have baby llamas that have passed and they look kind of freaky, but unique. Again, it's their culture, so no judging. I'm not judging. If you ever come to La Paz, I would check it out. All right, so enough about this place. We are getting quite hungry, so we are going to grab a bite to eat. And Kenny's back. He did not want to go inside because he did not like the scent. That's freaky so in there, strong. man. I actually got a headache. It was pretty cool to see, right? To it is experience. cool to see. It is definitely cool to see. It's just kind of weird. It weirded me out a little bit. So I was like, all right, I'm not going in there to smell. I wish they, I wish we had smell a vision because you guys <laughs> would probably feel the same way I do. It kind of stunk, so. Yeah, it was very strong. I was able to tolerate it for a bit. I do have a slight headache, but hopefully with some food, I'll feel better. We were just craving pizza today for some reason. A couple of empanadas, some local juice, limonada, and, and Gladys. And Gladys. <laughs> oh. I went to Thea Gladys' restaurant only because of her name, and she is quite popular, I must say. Yeah, everyone who went in there was hugging her, kissing her. There are posters of her and so many other foreigners in her restaurant. But I gotta tell you, the food is actually good. Yeah, it's pretty good and hopefully we'll get to make it again next time, right? Yeah, I think, think next time I'd like to come, I would like to come back for breakfast, but um, she claims that it's so busy, it might be a bad time to come. Well, all right, on to our next location. Bolivians love ice cream. That line behind me is for ice cream. I was thinking of getting online, but um, it's got to be at least 20 minutes wait, so not happening. We are walking and his head turned so hard. Wow, look how he is cutting that coconut. Oh my God, that looks dangerous. Looks totally dangerous. Ooh. I'm gonna have to close my eyes for this one. Oh, wow, you got it. Wow. Ooh, look at all that water in there. Okay, so we walk into our next destination and we just passed two outdoor offices which means it's just two guys with a typewriter sitting on the sidewalk and if you need your documents typed up you go to them 
How cool is this? I've never ever seen this in any other country ever. Pretty cool. Once again, we find ourselves walking up another steep hill. It's never ending. Oh my gosh. You all right? <laughs> we are really like crawling up these hills. Oh, but we're almost at our next location, so. We finally made it to our next destination. It was quite the walk here, but definitely worth it. It's called Jean Street. And the reason why I wanted to come and visit was because we have colonial buildings, they're colorful, and the cobblestones. Yeah, it's very pretty here, but getting here, I burnt off all the calories we ate for lunch. I am starving again. <laughs> so within a matter of an hour and a half, all those uphill walks, I'm done. There's really not much to it besides the what is about three or four square blocks of it. They have four museums here. We're not gonna visit the museums. Like we're I said, not. I just wanted to come enjoy the buildings. Yeah, it's very pretty here. I like, the, I like the stones that we're walking on and uh, just the different color buildings. It's really pretty. It's, I think it's a must visit one here. I think so too, especially for some photos. Alright guys, so now we're walking downhill, it's much easier, but look at how small these sidewalks are. And the wire is right here. <laughs> it's about I'm not touching it because I'm not executed. Yeah, it's about seven feet off the ground. Thank goodness we're going downhill because I was burnt. This is easy. This is easy, yeah. I could do this all day. But once we get downhill, we gotta go uphill. Uh, so that part sucks. I uh, know. So we have, to go, we have to go uphill. Now they're going. Sucks downhill is fantastic. And right now we're hitting steps. Oh my gosh! Hey, you guys like Gladys's hat? Let me know in the comments below if you think she looks nice in it or not. Because you better for say me, yes. for me, eh, I'm the only one who looks good in a cap. She's trying to take my style. I think we look cute. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Cheese. <laughs> Welcome to Plaza Murillo. <laughs> Guys, we are in La Paz, Bolivia. It's a shame if we would have visited and not visit the plaza. Exactly. You know what, guys? We love to visit plazas because usually that's where you can find all the beautiful colonial buildings, including a beautiful cathedral church. Yes, this one actually has a presidential building, governmental building, hotel, and Lots of pigeons. Gladys's favorite, tons of pigeons. When we first got here, there was a little boy feeding them and they were all over him. Gladys was freaking out. I was like, he is so brave. I definitely would not have done that. What about the baby and her walker? Oh the yeah, they're so cute. Also here, you can find a lot of vendors selling snacks, ice creams. There are people selling corn for you to feed the, the pigeons. Maybe I could get Gladys to feed a no, couple. No, that is not happening. Stop no. me right there. Exactly. But. 
Another thing I like is that you see all the beautiful buses going by, the old buses, they're painted yellow, green. I am oh. tired of hearing about these buses. <laughs> I love them. This is all that Kenny talks about. And every time one passes by, I'm like, are those buses right there? Look at that. Whoa. He's recording. I swear he has about a thousand clips of these buses, all different I do. colors. I do. Oh. Well, anyway, we're going to hang out here just for a few more minutes, enjoy the plaza, and then we're going to grab a bite to eat. Yeah, that sounds good. Alright, so we took a cab ride up to the Mirador called Kili Kili. Kili Kili. <laughs> it really is gorgeous up here. The views here are stunning. You get views of the snow capped mountains, mountains for miles and miles. <laughs> views of the cities, yeah. right? Actually, a panoramic view of the entire La Paz city. And Let's not forget our cable cars. Oh uh, yeah, you see these little cars going by. Yeah, we're so far <laughs> up, they're very small, but they're absolutely beautiful. It's very quiet up here, right? And of course, like we said, very scenic. There are quite a few people here. It's not as crowded as I thought it would be. Yeah. But um very enjoyable and definitely an awesome way to end the day. Alright, guys, so until next time. Bye. Oh wait, one second. Don't forget to share this video with at least one of your friends, all right? <laughs> Thank you guys. See all you right. in the next one. See you in the next one. Bye. Hi. <laughs> <I'm> kidding. <laughs>